Thank you, Charles, and thank you, Intrek, for convening us. It's it's a, a, an honor to be part of this important conversation. Um, so Wilde Ganse is a Dutch foundation. We were established 65 years ago to raise funds among Dutch citizens for global solidarity. And over the past decades, we've used these funds to support small-scale community-based initiatives, tangible projects. But many years ago, we started to ask ourselves difficult questions. Are we actually supporting our partners to become strong, independent organizations by only providing project-based funding? Um, how do we move to a more transformational approach? And based on those reflections, um, we've changed uh, a, a couple of things. I'd like to highlight two things and then close off with uh, some general reflections. Uh, first, as Charles said, we moved our focus from projects to organizations or, or projects to partners. Projects are now part of a multi-year collaboration with partners, part of a continuous dialogue. We acknowledge organizations operate in very complex environments. So we engage in a conversation. Where are you? Where do you want to go to? How can we support you in that process? Uh, we provide more flexibility to include uh, investments in organizational strengthening, to include political work. Uh, we do continue to fund projects because of our fundraising model here in the Netherlands, uh, but we see the value of those projects, not just in the direct outputs and outcomes, but also in the learning process, um, in the engagement of communities, engagement of, of people. So that's uh, very key to, to our grant making work. Uh, it has been, there have been some internal challenges around communication, the fundraising strategies, how do we communicate different types of work uh, to our constituency, uh, financial questions, but what has been very instrumental in that regard is jointly developing a theory of change that really uh, enables us to, to have this common and shared vision within our organization. And secondly, uh, we focused especially on investing in our grantee partners' capacity to raise resources within their own context and build local constituencies. And, and Charles referred to that already. Um, as fundraising is in our DNA as an organization, we saw an opportunity together with partners in, in, in different parts of the world uh, to start encourage domestic resource mobilization among citizens, among ordinary people, in, in different countries. Uh, we did that through matched funding, training, coaching, and I'd like to acknowledge um, Janet Mawijo and, and Charles yourself also in the role that you have been playing in that journey or still are. Um, from our perspective as Dutch organization, when we embarked on, on this, we started to invest in domestic resource mobilization. I think it's safe to say we uh, focused mainly on strengthening organizations' financial sustainability. But over the years, we have learned that domestic resource mobilization brings a lot more than that. It's, it's about ownership, organizations being able to determine their own priorities with a diverse mix of income. It's about engaging people in your work, building your support base, building your legitimacy as an organization. Uh, you have to be accountable to people close to the work that you're doing if you, if you invite them to participate and to invest in it. Uh, it builds community power, agency, and voice. Uh, and I could speak a lot longer about that. Um, but just very briefly, um, we've, we believe it's a crucial strategy to move away from top-down funding mechanisms, uh, but really work bottom-up and, and people-driven. And external funders can then come in to support what people are investing in themselves. Um, and we believe external funders also have a role to play to, to provide funding to partners to invest in building that local support base for their work. So at our end, this is work in progress. We don't get it all right. Uh, we're on a journey as well, but I'd like to uh, really um, highlight or underline the importance of continually questioning your own role as funder. Uh, different funders, different types of funders have different opportunities and restrictions in terms of uh, giving comprehensive funding. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, but how can you work based on complementarity, subsidiarity? Can you let go of the decision-making power that's, that's too often attached to money? Uh, what decisions should not be with you, but with, with your partners? Um, as an organization, we will start a pilot next year to learn on participatory grant making models, which will take it a step uh, further. Um, but it's that continuous reflection process and also looking at the quality of the relation 
question your own perceptions, your attitudes, uh, be a better listener than, than a speaker. Um, and I feel that's really an important uh, step towards being a more progressive funder, play a complementary role uh, and, and move away from, from the top-down model. So I'll leave it there. Thank, thanks so much, Esther, Just for sharing time. that. <laughs> Thank you. That was amazing.